Revelation 830. From the 26th of March 1939. Time of Drought. Rock. Little Brook. Word from Above. You shall hear the voice from above that warns you to be an example of those who betray the Lord. Behold, it costs infinite effort to establish a connection from the hereafter to the people on earth, and such a bridge is unspeakably beneficial, so that the gulf can be crossed. If the Lord himself condescends to show the way to you earthly children, nothing more is needed than the strong will of man to show himself worthy of this grace and he hears the words of the Lord at all times. If now the resistance of people cannot be broken and they persist in defense in spite of all distress of the soul, this is, however, no reason to take a stand on everything that the intellect cannot grasp, and so everyone must struggle for the knowledge of the truth, he must try to imagine himself in complete blindness and now trustingly let himself be led by the divine Lord and Master. The greatest danger is to want to judge everything according to a scheme. Which spirit can guide man into the truth? But only the spirit of God. And he will stand in the truth who consciously surrenders himself to the eternal Godhead. Who subordinates his will to the divine will and who deeply humbly, pleads for God's grace. Who now receives the word, whose sense is truly not directed after the splendor and grandeur of the world. He also does not strive for spiritual recognition. He wants only to serve God and the people, by communicating to them the truths received from God. Does this not already show how unspeakably mistaken the person is who doubts the outcome of this word? The strict rejection of the divine word, is like a stone in front of the door of the heart. Because people create an obstacle for themselves by blocking the clear source of knowledge and not paying attention to the strength giving refreshment. The time will come when there will be great drought on earth, when only here and there a spring will trickle and mankind will be close to dying of thirst. And if the Lord wants to control the nameless misery of this time by letting fresh drink flow out of the rocks and opening little fountains that are to refresh his children with living water, do not waste these springs, but give thanks to the Lord, who wants to save you from misery and distress. The transmissions from above are the purest, purest truth recognizable to the earthly child who sincerely asks God for enlightenment and trustingly leaves the answer to him. When humans answer their own questions, any error is encouraged and people then lead themselves on the wrong path. But the Lord protects those who fulfill his will and remain in love with him, because many workers are needed in his vineyard. Amen.